Dennis, here we got another nice electric question. Uh, if I had a 100 amp hour battery, what size inverter could I get away with? Well, um, that's, there's a couple of things you got to worry about. The amp hour wise, when great, that lasts a little while longer. But the bigger issue is like how many amps can that battery provide instantaneously? Mm -hmm. So like, you know, your light bulb batteries, things of that nature, really only about 30 amps at most. A uh, car battery can produce a lot more cold cranking amps, but for a very short period of time. Um, so generally, if you're running a large inverter, like a 2000 watts, you have, um, you have to crank up your voltage, like 24, 48 volts. Um, I, I put in a yeah. off grid solar system a few years back uh, that was a 24 volt DC system. Uh, but it's still, you know, you're pulling 60, 70 amps once that 2000 watt inverter starts going. Uh, so yep. we're feeding it basically with a welding cable. Um, so that's really the issue. Just a 100 amp hour battery, you know, that'll last a little bit. But that current draw at 100 watts or 1000 watts at 12 volts. You're going to have a pretty serious current draw, and you're going to have problems. That battery's going to get hot; it's going to shut down. Mm -hmm. So, probably a thousand a thousand watts max. Then I'm I'm guessing it's right. yeah a thousand watts. A, I mean, even you're running even you're running like a laptop or maybe a small radio on it. It just mm -hmm. uh, you got to you got to get your voltage up. Is really what you got to do. That brings your current down. Yeah, yeah. If you wanted, yeah, if you wanted to run an inverter. Anything more than a thousand or fifteen hundred watts, you, you you almost have to look at a twenty-four volt system in order to just twenty-four or even forty-eight. Forty-eight, um, yeah. You, know, you get like six volt, um, uh, six volt uh, golf cart batteries, right? And you get both. You can kind of put them in series and parallel to get them up to forty-eight volts to twenty-four volts, and they make inverters that for those voltages. And that's really where you're. That's really where you're long. I mean. 100, uh, 100 amp hour light pole 4 battery, great, it's portable, uh, but you're not going to get much out of a 1,000 watt inverter with it. Yeah. The Whoa, BMS. No, we're yeah. going down. We're going oh, down. No. The BMS can only, gen it can only manage so much power through them. And um, if you ever watch, um, you know, there that uh, the YouTube channel, Will Prowess, he's the one that always tears, tears apart uh, light pole batteries. Uh, some of these, uh, 100 amp hour batteries, boy, I'd be really worried about, you know, the big a current draw more than 30 amps because, you know, once you see how those BMSs are wired in, it's, uh, it, it, yeah. it's really a, it's really a scary sight. So yeah, that's, if you're looking at the cheap stuff yeah. from AliExpress and Amazon is really catching up to us. It really is. Yeah. High current. Yeah. If you were looking at high current, um, high current, um, things with a, to use that with a battery, then you're going to want to invest in a quality battery with a quality BMS. Absolutely. Yeah. KB9 VBR antennas are simple, effective, and affordable VHF and UHF antennas for amateur radio, MERS, public safety, and GMRS. Made in the USA with quality parts. Get yours online at jpole-antenna.com.